welcome back to my channel kukwa to say bienvenue to my channel so for today's video hmm, we're gonna be talking about how to know if that man loves you okay baby okay i don't know how to name this video yet but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out okay first before we get started if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for baby make sure you hit the subscribe button down below make sure you like comment share this video as well because every time you like and comment this video it brings our video up 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 on youtube because you know everybody does youtube now so when you post a video it's pretty it's pushed down so for youtube to push it up you know algorithm youtube other alg algorithm all the youtubers out there know that you need to be getting these likes and these comments so go ahead and like this video if you want more video like this and comment down below as well okay cool first thing first i got the idea of making this video from belle bijou she's a french youtuber living in america so you make sure you check out her video if you speak french because i made this video in english already <laughs> I made this video in French already, so I'll make sure I put the link of the French version of this video in the description box down below. So if you speak French, you can watch it. You can learn French as well by watching that video over because it's technically the same thing I'm saying, okay? So we're going to be learning as well another language at that. So clap for just learn. Come on. So yeah, make sure you also follow me on my social media platform. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It will be here the screen in the description box down below let's get started so first i personally value respect respect is very important to me okay and also like i like when my man talks to me very nicely and respectfully not only around people but when it's just like him and i you know when you know we are head to head with each other the way he talks to me all that like that's all those are all turn on so Please talk to me nice, baby. Talk to me nice. Okay? So, that's a big thing for me. Also, I like when my man is there for me mentally. Like, I like my man to be a shoulder I can cry on. Okay? Like, baby, I'm down. And he, I tell him, baby, I'm down. He's like, come on, baby. I got you, girl. Don't worry. We're going to get through this together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to feel supported. You know, I like that. I like, I really do. And also, I want to say someone that can support you financially. When I say financially, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about he will give you $10,000 or, or buy you a Louis Vuitton bag or red bottoms. No. I mean, like, let's say this month I got sick. I couldn't work a couple of my shifts at work because I was sick. Obviously, I won't get a paycheck. And my phone bill is due. I can't afford it. I want my man to be like, come on, babe. It's okay. I got you this month. I'll pay for your phone bill. Like... My phone bill is only $40 a month. Like, that's nothing. Come on now. Like, support me. It's one thing if he's not working. I understand. But if he's making so much money, he should be able to pay my $40 phone bill. And that's on period. Okay? So, also, one thing about me is that I hate, hate, hate rude guys. Like, don't come at me and call me the B word. No, like I had had people like around me that be like, oh, my man called me the B word. I don't know if he love me. Personally for me, he got to check that because don't call me no B word. Don't call me no H word. Like watch the way you talk to me. At the end of the day, if your man can call you a B or a H, what can a stranger, like another guy that's a stranger call you? Any person can call you that technically. He should be the person that make you feel beautiful. He should be the person that make you feel like, yeah, you are that girl. Not calling you all those words. That's how I feel. But then again, relationships are different, okay? Are different, okay? So that's how I feel, okay? That's why I'm giving you guys my perspective of how to know if he loves you. If he really loves you at that, okay? Okay. Also, physical abuse is not cute. I hate, like, I remember back in high school, man, I got some tea. It's a story time, but I feel like, I don't know if I want to make the story time, but I was in an abusive relationship with this one guy. I'll probably make a story time, so you guys let me know in the comments down below if you want to hear the story time. And I'll be like, oh no, I just pissed him off, that's why he slapped me. That is never okay. That is never okay. Like, no. He should not put his hands on you. You should keep your hands to yourself as well. No one should be putting their hands on nobody. So, that's that. That's like the real tea right there. I don't think I'll ever make a story time unless y'all really want to hear it, but... Yeah, I was letting that man do whatever because I claimed that he loved me. I only made him mad, but we will like get back up together. You know, we will fix our thing, everything. Where are we today? 
So I got all this heat for free. Where are we today? Like, girl, I feel so dumb sometimes. I'm like, girl, I'm so happy that I grew out of that, like, face thinking that was cute. And, and mind you, I'm not the only one. There's so many of my old high school friends that I scroll through their Facebook and then they talk about some, oh, I was abused for this, this number of years. I was letting him go because I thought he loved me. I only made him mad and all that. Like, it is ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. It's terrible. Get out of it. Run. Like, I don't know. Some people found it sexy or cute or whatever. <laughs> I don't. So that's very important to know if he loves you or not because Ain't no way someone that love you beat the crap out of you to the point that you're bleeding. Be the crap out of you to the point that you gotta go to a hospital. Be the crap out of you, period. Ain't nobody, like, he shouldn't put his hands on you. Okay? Also, something very important, like, the way he touches you. Like, I like to feel safe around my man. Like, let's walk down the street and, you know, make me feel safe. Then me feeling like you're gonna go like this and I, you know, buck like you better hit me. No. Like, I'm supposed to feel real... You know, that's my man. You know, we're walking down the streets like this, you know. So, that's very important to me. And lastly, this doesn't apply for everybody, okay? Disclaimer. This doesn't apply for everybody because not everybody is religious, okay? Let me stop looking at this part and look here. Not everybody is religious, so this doesn't apply to everybody. I like my man to be very faithful. Some people have open relationships. Some people have open relationships so they can see different partners and that is okay. You can't judge them. Who are we to judge, okay? So that's the T, that's the thing. That's what they do, okay? But you that have like a relationship that you guys have an understanding of not seeing, of not seeing anybody else shouldn't be taking your man cheating. Like he's over here sleeping with other people. You're like, oh, I'll forgive him. It's the 10th time, but I'll forgive him. It's the fifth time I'll forgive him. You keep forgiving this man, he keep doing the same thing, okay? So, you might as well just let him cheat or just have open relationship. Unless your relationship is an open relationship, the man doesn't love you if he keep cheating on you, and that's on period, okay? Lastly, I don't know if I said that one was lastly, but I just remember that on my last, on the French one, I mentioned faith. Make sure the guy is God-fearing. Make sure... He fears God. Make sure he prays with you. Make sure I don't care like what religion what religion you you believe in. Make sure whatever God you pray, you know, you know, it could be Muslim, Catholic, I'm personally Catholic, all that. Make sure the guy is also a believer. You know. Some people don't believe in, in God. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't apply to everybody. And that is okay. That's their choice. You know. God put us in this world and gave us the choice to believe and do whatever we want to do, okay? So some people do not believe in God and that is okay. So not be, maybe you, you that's watching this don't believe in God or your partner doesn't and you're looking at me funny because I'm saying this. Not everybody believes in God and that is okay. Like, that is okay, okay? So that's that. Um, I think I did mention family-oriented, right? If I didn't mention, yeah, family-oriented is very important. He must be very um, respectful to his family first and your family as well. If I did not mention that, let me say that right here. He should be very family oriented because I feel like if a man love his mother, he will love you as well, baby girl. He will because he cares a lot for his mother and his mother is a woman just like you. Most likely, it's not always going to happen, but it happened most likely. You know, if you see that your boyfriend is very, like, I'll do anything for my mom, he will most likely be like, I'll do anything for my girl or my wife as well. So... Yeah, those are what I think you should look for to realize if the man or to know or to really, if you're really trying to figure it out if your man really loves you, okay? That's that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so, so much once again for all the new subscribers. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. What are you waiting for? Okay. Hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn on your bell if it's not on yet. And if it's on and you're not getting notification, turn it off, then turn it right back on to get notified whenever I upload a video. Make sure once again you you thumbs up this video if you are if you are loving these videos so I can put more, you know, videos of me just chit-chatting with you guys. And also make sure you comment down below what other topic you would like me to talk about because I'll make sure, you know, I make a video in French and in English for you guys. And that makes us at least have 
to upload the day i mean a week which is great you know so if i get one topic i make it in english and in french that's two freaking video and we are getting to our goal our goal is to hit three videos a week this whole summer uh-huh uh-huh this whole summer okay i'm so i'm too excited guys i'm too happy because i feel like i had that in my heart and i pour it out so i feel good thank you so much guys i love you bye